Hello YouTube, it's GoPronopper, and today we're going to be taking a bit of a closer look at the Lomography Fisheye 2 camera. I purchased this camera today at a Goodwill for $2.99. Um, I have a video actually showing myself going into the Goodwill and purchasing the camera. So if you'd like to check that out, please go to my channel page. It should be uploaded right before this one. It's titled uh, Goodwill Camera Hunting or something similar. So, the first thing you notice, I'm assuming this has everything. It's not new, obviously, but I'm assuming it has everything that it would if the camera was new. But anyways, let's get started. So, on the front of the box, you'll notice the uh, very stylized Fisheye 2 logo and a uh, picture of the camera. And it says down here, the brand new version of the world's first, best, and only 35mm compact Fisheye camera. I think it's easy to be the best if you're the only one. Uh, this is the second model of the fisheye. They are still selling this, and they are still selling the original model too. But around, you can see that there's a border with a couple of different shots taken with the camera. And there are some features listed all the way around. If you want to read these, just go ahead and uh, pause the video. But anyways, let's get started. So you open it up down here, and the camera's right inside along with this. Uh, I believe that's a picture of a, a horse's face, I think. And there's like a plastic bowl around here to give it the actual distorted fisheye effect. But anyways, down here is the camera itself and the finder. So this has a rubber wrist strap and a rubber lens cap always attached to the camera. And here's the camera itself. This is the Lomo Fisheye 2 with the detachable finder and lens. But first I want to get into what else is in the box. Down here, if you lift up on this, you can uh, release the bottom. And this is like an interesting photo album sort of thing called the Fisheye View that shows you a bunch of different pictures taken with the camera. And then down here in the bottom, I still haven't put this up yet. This is actually a, a poster for the camera that showcases a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not unfolding it because this thing is huge. But I'm probably going to put this up in my room later because that's actually pretty cool. And then down here, it looks like we only have um, the instruction manual and some warranty cards. But anyways, that's it for everything in the box. I'm just going to... Uh, reassemble this whole thing and then we'll talk about the camera a bit and all of its features so apparently these things retail new for around 50 bucks so that's quite a steal for 2.99 so here it is and uh, the first thing you notice when you pick it up it's plasticky I mean it's a lomography camera it's not made to be like you know super professional or anything, but it's like a, a point-and-shoot. I would compare it to the likes of a Vivitar PN 2011. And the, the dials and switches on it feel really plasticky, but it's a Lomo camera, so what could you expect? Um, my only real complaint with the camera is this film door latch here. It's extremely hard to get, and if your finger slips off of it, it can jam up into your fingernail, and it hurts really, really bad. But anyways, so on the front of the camera we obviously have our massive taking lens here. This is the flash on off switch. Fisheye logo right there. Probably can't read that. Right here we have our um, shutter selector. Lock for L, N for normal, which gives you a shutter speed of 1 one hundredth of a second at F8, and B for bulb. On top we have the shutter button. A crab, our film advance. This is a multiple exposure button, which can also be used for testing the camera. And our rewind crank. Um, this is an indicator to show what kind of film you have in there, if you have any in there. Um, and that's pretty much it. On the bottom, we have our battery cover, and this takes a normal double A battery for means or. Uh, for the purpose of operating the flash, drops in positive terminal up. 
On top we also have our hot shoe and detachable fish eye finder. And this is a very cool little finder. I mean you can see the, the absolute mess my desk is in right now, but so I apologize for the huge mess. It's just that I've been kinda busy with some stuff, but you can see that's very cool. Takes a standard hot shoe and the finder just slips right on there. So um, without it you'd be shooting blind, but some people actually prefer to use the camera just like this. It has this really nice sort of a uh, brushed metal finish, even if it's only cosmetic, it looks very nice. And if you look, the uh, lens cap has the word Lomography stamped on it in a special sort of 8-bit font. I'm assuming part of the reason this thing got sent to Goodwill is because the little tabs that you load the film onto are actually busted off. But that's not really a problem for me because what I plan to do is if I use film, just put a tiny little bit of tape on the end of the film leader, which will make it much easier to um, load the camera because you can't without it. Up here is a sprocket that you have to advance in order to take a photo. You can see down here, shutter. Oh, it's locked, sorry. Hmm. Actually, no, you can't. Uh, let's try again. There you go. I'm sorry, it was because my desktop was black. Yeah, it doesn't really have a pressure plate, just like sort of these bars here which act as a pressure plate. It's not nearly as effective, but it's a Lomo camera. Who cares about quality? Um, that's not meant to be an insult. That's how the Lomography movement is, but... I actually kind of like this thing. It's a cool camera. I mean, the concept by itself is awesome. Looking through the fish, fish eye finder is very cool. But, you know... It just looks neat, and it's it looks like it's going to be a very fun camera to use. I have a roll of film set aside. I'm going to use this very soon. I really can't wait. This thing looks awesome. I mean, it's going to be so much fun. I've always wanted a fisheye lens, but, you know, this will have to do. <laughs> it certainly will. Um, I'll demonstrate the bulb function real quick, quick but uh, if I open up the back, you can see, as long as I hold down the shutter, it stays open. So this has some interesting features, first and second curtain flash, meaning um, when you set it to bulb mode, the on-camera flash flashes once when you press the shutter button, and the off-camera flash, or the hot shoe flash, flashes when you um, close the shutter, which is very weird. Oop, now I've got a cockpit. So, yeah, uh, it's a very neat little camera. If you ever see one of these at Goodwill, definitely pick it up. If you want to buy one new, go right ahead. But, you know, it's pretty cool. It's not a vintage camera by any means, but still, this is really, really awesome. I mean, I seriously can't wait to use this. And it came with the original packaging and everything. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.